if there's anything that I would like my preaching to be known as, it would be that it is God-centered. It makes much of God. It is dense with God and saturated with, with God. And so I wrote this book, The Supremacy of God in Preaching, um, in order to encourage pastors to make that their goal. Um, it's got chapters on the goal of preaching as the glory of God and the ground of preaching as the cross of Christ and the gift of preaching, the power of the Holy Spirit. So glory of God and cross and, and, and Holy Spirit, all of them uh, Trinitarian structure pointing towards God himself as the great substance of, of preaching. It, it's, it's more of a, a tenor, I think, and a feel rather than saying the topic is God every Sunday. I want pastors to talk about drugs and marriage and politics and uh, personal sins and joys. I, I want everything practical to be drawn up into preaching, but drawn all the way up, all the way up into God so that people feel like what this pastor's telling me every Sunday is something about how my life relates to something huge and something magnificent in the person of God and in relation to Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit so that there's a feel of Godwardness about the preaching always. And then the second half of the book is to just let Jonathan Edwards illustrate that for us. It's like kind of a life of Edwards and an illustration of how this fleshed out in his uh, preaching and in his writing. Jonathan Edwards has done more perhaps than any other man uh, who's outside the Bible to rivet me on the, on the majesty of God. When I, when I read Edwards, I simply see more of God and love more of God and long to know more of God than, than anyone else that I read. So the biblical study in the first half and then the illustrative part about Edwards in the second half, all of it aiming at the supremacy of God in preaching.